Good morning, good morning, here. Like, you are very welcome, Minister. It's always always good to see you uh, and the optimism that you bring. Um, I, I am. I, I stand here. Uh, happy and very anxious at the same time. Uh, you know, we, we stand at the end of a, a lockdown period that has been largely a great success. You know, we have seen, whether, whether we agree with it or not, but it would appear that we have had a second wave. It would appear that we had a peak. It would appear that we are managing the case numbers and the caseloads that are coming through, that all of the trends are downwards, and that that's very, very positive, and that is great. I um, am fearful today that opening up on the 1st of December, and I hope it is the 1st of December because I know a lot of people have, have, have made appointments for their hair, some very urgently, on the 1st of December. Um, but that the 1st of December, given the cycle of cases, I, I am fearful that the cycle of cases will, be, will start going upwards from fortnight to three weeks after that and that we will end up with an emergency meeting around about the 18th or 16th of December that says, actually, we've had sudden rise in cases because people have been out shopping, they have opened hospitality, we have, we have resumed, and people feel at this stage, after such a long time of sacrifice, that they deserve their Christmas and they, they deserve to meet their family. And, the, and all of that is absolutely true. However, 2,033 people are dead who may not have been dead, who may not have died were it not for this very serious virus that is inflicting our country and the world. So I, 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 I wish that we were back in a situation that we were in the summer. I wish that we were in a place where we were looking at a, an opening up of Ireland that it says three weeks, we're going to, you know, next Monday we're going to do this, three weeks later we're going to do, because I think that was a great success in the summer. I think it was very clear, very decisive, the opening up of the economy, the opening up of life. People had a hope, they had a date. I certainly had booked Cork for the, for the date that we could travel and go, I was gone. Um, and, and we were able to pull that back and open earlier again. And Christmas and the here and now makes that a very, very difficult thing for our government to do. So I, I don't envy um, the subgroup or the cabinet tomorrow trying to make decision that in an ideal world we would be standing here saying, and I, I really, I want to say, open everything up, open up hospitality. You know, I see the hardship in my own, in the, in the group of people that are around me, of, of you know, that 30 to 40 people who have had a grand time during COVID, they've sailed through it, they've maybe worked from home, it's been challenging, it's been challenging with childcare, they're worried about the mental health of people, um, so that, that in itself is serious. But then there are the others that are, have lost their business, are, have had to negotiate moratoriums on their mortgage, who have actually lost loved ones. Um, both through COVID and not through COVID, and have and face into a very lonely Christmas without members of their family. So need to get together. But I, I think that the difficulty of Christmas and the impetus and the, the urgency that is being and the pressure piled on government, especially around hospitality, and I don't blame them. You know, this is the one time of year when a lot would be sold across retail and hospitality. It's the one opportunity to really store up profits for the lean times of January in February. You know, so I, I, I think that we are in a very, very difficult place. And I suppose the only thing I can say to that is, if, if governments are prepared to open us up, and if in that narrative we say, we may have a lockdown again in January, we're giving a license to a, an, an open, let's go for it, we're going to be locked down in January anyway. So, so I would fear for a, a relaxation of that adherence that has brought us to the place we are in today of having lower numbers. Because we have those lower numbers because people have made incredible sacrifices, businesses have made incredible sacrifices, and we, on the, on, for the most part as a, as a nation, we have complied with the regulations, we have made really good choices. Um, so I, I, I find it um, difficult as much as I want to stand here and give you the list of all of the things that I really believe are urgent, you know, I, I, I worry about small little businesses who took out personal loans to advance, you know, we're running dance, I, I worry about after school, the, the extracurricular activities and the effect that that's having. I, I have a child who hasn't had a play date since last March. 
You know, so there are, there are situations, there are moments in people's lives that are passing that can never be gone back on again. There are rites of passage that can never be reclaimed. You know, there, there are things passing and for the young, for whom every day is a huge development forward, and for the old who are sitting, waiting, fearful of that death awaits them if they go out to the shop or they go out to the church or they go out to do whatever. Um, on the issue of churches, I suppose if we're going to open churches, we need to think about every type of church and every denomination and every religion. It's not just the, the Catholic and Protestant churches that have fine big buildings. A lot of, new, of our newer churches and our, and our um, international community living amongst us have evangelical churches that meet in community centres. So we're, we're going to have to start discriminating the minute we, we make a decision. So we need to make a decision around square footage or something like that. Um, so I don't envy you, Minister, I think it is, but I would urge you to say, let's make the communication really strong and really clear. Let's make the, the vision very strong and very clear. And let's create, cast a vision for the new year, a new year when we can open up, when we will have a vaccine, when we'll have all of these things, and, and to Thank urge you. people to adhere for Christmas, because we do want to have a happy new year. Thank you very much.